Hello all, welcome to C Programming Learning. Today in this video we will understand two important functions which are related to string that is get s and put s. Get s function and put s function are used in the programming of string where the get s function is similar to the scanf function but it allows entering some characters by the user in a string format with a double quotation. And put s is another function which is quite similar as a printf but putf function is used to display only the string after reading by get s function that is entered by user so we can say get s is uh, related to or likely working with the printf functions and put s is similar as a scanf function the main difference between get s and put s in c language is that get s is a function that reads a string from the standard input while put s function that prints the string to the standard output so this way we are going to use the same in our today's program so we'll start with an empty file so we'll go for a new empty file let's start by writing our program we'll write down first of all our header file has include stdio.h and then as we are using string programming so we need a string library header file also so we are going to add hash include string dot h so this way we have added two header files and let's start with an integer main function so we have opened here integer main function now first of all i'll declare one string that is character s1 the s1 will be i decide the size will be 50 so i'll go for 50 you can choose whatever way you want and then after that after declaring this string i'll take out the content of string from the user by using this printf line first of all i'll print one line so here we will start with a printf so what i need to print on the screen is enter the string s1 that means we will take out the string content from the user so enter the string s1 and we'll put slash n here also for going the control to the next line as we have used one printf statement to print that string next we will use get s so get s is a function which will take out the content of this string from user so i'll write down get s s1 that is the same name which is given by us at the initialization of string here or a declaration of string here after that get s statement we will use one more printf statement like this printf inside that printf statement i am gonna write one resulting statement that your string is your string is here now here i'll put one more slash n and then here we'll use a colon and now here we have to use put s statement that is put s s1 that will display the same s1 string on the screen and then we'll use a return zero statement as always now here we have written two header files standard input output and a string header file by starting a main integer main function we have declared one s1 string which will be of 50 size we have taken out the content of string from the user by using the printf and get s function and then we have displayed the same content by using put s function so here we are done by writing our program let's save it so by save file as we can give name as a get put dot c you can give any name of your choice and let's save it after saving this we will build this same so we'll build and if build will finish with zero error let's run it now after running it you can write down this says one so this is the string which i want to type and if you put enter you can see your string is this is one so whatever string you are writing it will read out read input from the entered by the user by using get s statement or function and it will display the same by using the put s statement so here you can write down anything which you like hello all suppose i want a string to be uh, written as a hello all 
welcome all and if you put enter you can see hello all welcome all is resulting statement so this way you can type the get s and put s function just to print the string which is uh, user entered also this is the size of the string you can also increase the size as per your choice i hope you understood get s and put s function and also you can uh, see the similar way it is of printf and scanf function thank you